outpost behind us. It's been quite for quite a while. I'd be real careful. So it's called camp, but it's an outpost. Sure. Okay, um, okay, so Willow's doing her thing again. Um, okay, that's a shovel. More notes? I don't really care that much about notes because... Oh! Alright, I'll go look for more peeps. What, did he just shoot someone? Oh no, that was just a skill animation. <laughs> I was wondering if the bot did something very unique. <laughs> what was that? Alright, oh, what's in here? Um, this is from the leaks. Like a mine portion. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, that that's so dangerous. But that's so cool. Alright, what's... It would look like I had to, like, jump over there. <laughs> that would be very horrifying. <laughs> okay, that's actually... Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. I'm not really contributing since I can't really grab any of the important items. Oh, frick, he's here. Invisible. Wait, no, there... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll try to move, like, early. I'm guessing I'm going... No, I went the wrong way. Fun! Alright, let's see. Purple key, that will give me the TNT. But I don't need the TNT. <gasps> he has the orange key. Pick it up and go use it, alright? <gasps> no, Mousy, please do not. Here's the orange key. I don't get the circle thingy I have to use in, you know, like the tunnel. Ah, I don't know. Oh, here I can. Please give me the shovel. I mean, I mean the ladder. Alright, boop. And I shall commit murder. I'll just see if I can get like something like a green key in here or something. Yeah, there's- oh my gosh, there's a lot here. I think someone went to the green room and found absolutely nothing. Alright, um, I will plant just a bot down here in case- oh, uh, here's the yellow key use. Um, alright, and green key. I think the yellow key is probably gonna be in the greenhouse. Wow, did I just say greenhouse? Oh my gosh. What? Oh, he's- oh my gosh, I forget how quick he is. There's so many piggies chasing us. Oh, wait, there was something here? What the heck? Is that a, like a rubber- oh no, it's a rope! Wait, you can make a plank so it's safer, I guess. Oh yeah, okay, I'm taking the plank. I'm not risking that. But what the heck is this thing? Yes, yellow key. All right, I'll go up and use this and see what I get. I have absolutely no idea, actually. Um, let's see. I get a elevator key. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what the what this is. <gasps> yes, someone used the dynamite. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Um, um, be, be distracted by this clone, I guess. But do we use an elevator key here? I knew it. All right, but we need the code. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to fill them all out. Oh, okay. It's not actually that bad. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it! I actually did it! We found a way into the lab. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Into what lab? Oh yeah, that thing. Parpy, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh yeah, sure, what's up? Well... Willow's right. There's something I should tell you. <gasps> Do we get to know? Do we get- At the carnival. I thought you were infected because- Well, I gave you the potion. What? In the forest. Th that was you? What? You and your friend. It was me. I'm not proud of it. And I had no choice. The silver palm made me do it. He was- um... I can't believe this. I, I trusted you, Pony. Look, I'm sorry. I thought if I could just forget about it, then we could stay friends. I I don't want to lose you, Parapiti. You tried to infect me. How do I know you're not going to try that again? I know the type of person you are. The world can't afford to lose someone like you. Parapiti, someone once told me to forgive those who, who have hurt me, because if I hurt them, I'm no better than them. That person was you. Don't forget that. We'll all make mistakes. But if we, uh, but we try our best to not repeat them, you're right. Well, I, I can't forgive you, Pony. We're still friends. Thank you, Parabiri. It, it means the world to me. Is everything alright, Willow? What are you looking at? It's nothing. Everything's fine. 
let's just go get that cure and get out of here. I really hope this is an extremely long cutscene. I would love to see that. Let's pull it off. If someone finds the cure, yell to the others. We're in the lab. Oh my gosh. Got it. Let's do this. We're in the lab. Oh my gosh. Willow. Tigri. I had a feeling you'd show up. Using explosive to stop me. Clever. But that was never going to work in the long run. You were never going to work in the long run. You are a mess, Willow. You hurt everyone you've gotten close to. What did you just say to me? You've been nothing but a bully ever since I met you. There was once a time that I was scared of you. Now I'm finally going to stand up for myself. I fed you, sheltered you, and kept you safe. This is my thanks? It's more than you deserve. Let's settle this then. A wolf against a, a little cat with a big mouth. What harm can you possibly do? You're about to find out. Stop that! Cut it, you two! <gasps> oh my gosh! Looks like you're not as bad as I thought. There's a lot more to me that you're about to discover. What was that? Oh! <gasps> Great, now I've got to find a way out of here on my own. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh! Wow. Last time on one of these reviews, I decided that Temple was my favorite map in Book 2. Well, Camp is amazing, and I loved every second of it. Now, this video will be in three different parts, all focusing on different aspects of the map, and let's start with gameplay and enjoyment. Camp in the gameplay department is the cream of the crop. It has brought so many new features in the game that are so great, and I love playing through this map. First off, the soldier piggies are back, but much harder this time. This time they are just completely normal bots and they're really difficult to avoid sometimes. But it was really cool and I really liked it. We also have the rocket launcher which I think is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in this game. And as well as that we have the cave. And oh my gosh, the cave. There are so many unique obstacles and creative things in here like the rope which is really unsafe but really awesome. The planks you walk on can fall down which is a really fun obstacle and the escape door's code is confusing but doable. I think this map is greatly designed and that's what makes me come back to it. I think this map has some of the best new ideas and it's so fun. So for gameplay and enjoyment I'm giving this map a 10 out of 10. Next up is the design of the map, and I think it's pretty good. It's not amazing like other maps, but it looks really cool. I prefer this a ton over Outpost because I think the winter aesthetic sells it for me. When you first spawn in, everything looks too snowy and unclear, but the thing about this map is that it changes the weather gradually, and I think that's really cool. I think this map especially shines when it becomes night, since it then looks really cool and you can see everything clearly. This map's design isn't really anything that special, but I still really liked it, so the map's design gets an 8 out of 10. And lastly, we have the story of the map, and like chapters 10 cutscene. This was incredible, there are so many plot reveals here, the dialogue is great, and the fight scene. Oh my gosh, we'll get to that. At the start, Pony pulls us to the side and he reveals that he was the one who infected Doggy, which is a really reasonable explanation, and I love how the player is giving some characterization. Like, they don't really have any character traits, they're just really nice and understanding. I really liked how the end to this reveal is that the player can't forgive Pony for what he did, but they know that moving on is the best choice. I also really love how Georgie is the one who reminds us of what we said to him, and I think that's really cool character development. Well, after this we go into the lab, which is the main menu, and the group splits up with us and Willow going together, and we encounter Tigri. Willow and Tigri argue with each other for a while in a really tense scene until they begin fighting, and oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love the fight scene. 
so much. I can't really explain why I love it so much. The lack of sound effects may be a bit jarring at first, but with the fantastic music from B-Slick, I don't mind it anymore. And after that, we begin hearing explosions where he gets separated from Willow and Tigri and we see Shadow Penny. This cutscene is just all I want. Plot reveals, action, engagement, this cutscene is just a full package. So that's why I give this map story a 10 out of 10. So these are the final scores for the different aspects of the map and the map gets in total a 9 out of 10. I myself can't truly give a map a full on 10 out of 10 until I've reviewed all the maps in book 2. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be reviewing the two extra chapters when they come out and I will be making a full map ranking on all the maps in the game when chapter 12 of book 2 is out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.